Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to add a chart for a selected row with data in Excel using VBA macros. So we're going to add a link to each of the cells first, and the hyperlink is going to trigger to add a chart. So if we select another city, we get the chart for that city. Let's see Copenhagen. And if we select any other cell, the chart is gone. So in this example, the chart displays the monthly average temperature in degrees Celsius for a given city. So let's see how we do that. I have here the same data set, and we're going to go to the Visual Basic Editor. We're going to have two procedures, and we will also need two event procedures. We will see that later. So the first procedure will be add hyperlinks. And here we're going to need two variables. for the row number, and LR is going to be the last row with content. So cells, rows, count in column A, and Excel row. Then we start a loop for R equals 3. We start in row number 3. That's where we have the first CD to LR. And for each row in the active sheet, with hyperlinks, we add a new hyperlink to the anchor, which is actually going to be the same cell, so range A, R. And then the address, we don't need any address because that's a location inside this document or this Excel file. And the sub address is also going to be the same cell. So when we click the hyperlink, it's going to select that cell. And we need to add here the worksheet reference, not an object reference, but the worksheet reference, which is sheet one, ex exclamation A, and then it's going to be row R. And here we move to the next row. So let's see how it works. And as you see, it has added already a hyperlink to each of the cells here, to each of the cities. Now, when we click the hyperlink, we want to show a chart. So that's going to happen in the second procedure. And we're going to call that show chart. Here we will need also a row number variable, r as an integer, and an object variable as a chart object. So I'm going to call it chart object as a chart object. Then we said r as the active cell.row, and we add an embedded chart to the worksheet assigned to the variable chart object. So that's with the active sheet chart objects.add. And we need to specify the position of the chart, so it's going to be 250 points from the left and uh, 100 points from the top. And the chart is going to be 450 wide and, let's say, 250 high. And you can change that to whatever you want, to whatever it fits your, your resolution, or wherever you want to put it. Now, with chart object.chart, we're going to set the chart type. So the chart type. And the chart type, um, I'm going to have a simple, we have here the list of chart types. And I'm going to have a simple line chart. Then we're going to set the source data to source, which is a range between column B for January and row R up to column M for December, which is the last column in the data that we want to display, and row R. Then we're going to add a title. So has title is true. and chart title dot text is going to be the value in the active cell so that's the name of the city and finally we're gonna hide the legend so has legend is false and here we end the with so that should do but now we need to add an event procedure to catch the event of clicking a hyperlink we do that here in the module sheet one. So let's click module sheet one, select the worksheet. By default, we get the selection change 
which we are also going to use, actually. So before we go to the hyperlink, let me add some code here. We want to delete any chart whenever we change the selection, whenever we select another cell. So we will say if in the active sheet with chart objects dot count is greater than zero, then with the active sheet chart objects, we're going to delete the chart and if. And now we add another event procedure, which is follow hyperlink, that will trigger when we click a hyperlink. And when we click the hyperlink, we want to show the chart. And this is the procedure that we have added here before. And I just realized I mistyped active sheet. So let's now see how it works. If I select a city, let's say burn, we get the chart right in the middle. And if I click on another city, we get another chart for that city. It has the, the, the city name as the title, and it has here the 12 months. And if we click anywhere else and we select any other cell, the chart is gone. So that's how we add a chart for a selected row with data in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.